Hey there, welcome to the Lucifer channel. Welcome to damn near everyday love readings. Welcome to this reading, which is should you reach out or not? If you've been feeling like you want to reach out, should you reach out or not? I mean, let's talk about it. We got pal one, pal two, pal three, pal pink, pal green, pal white, stone. All right. I'll give you a hot second. This is part of damn near everyday love readings and I'm really here for it. Super excited to have you here. I really want to know, should you reach out yes or no, right? Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it bees like that. Let's look at this. This is timeless. So you can always come back and check. There's also other ones of this that I've done, but this one feels a little bit interesting. Um, stay till, stay till to the end of the reading because sometimes the, the, the answers, we they get fleshed out a little bit more. All right. I'll see you in your pile. Time stamps down in the description box below and your comment is in the description box. <laughs> it's in the comment section. I'll see you there. Bye. Hey there, Paul Green. How are you? Okay. So these are your stones. Okay. Probably should have shown them to you earlier, but how's that? We're looking at whether you should reach out or not. I will be using the before tarot because I think it's funny. You know what song has been in my head, Paul One? Two. Paul Two. The Paro song. P A R O. Allo, allo, allo. Paro. Pa you know, she's like paranoid or something. I don't know if it's French. It sounds French, but. She's paranoid about something. So, um, listen. When it comes to this situation with this particular person that you are checking up on, should you reach out? Like, what is what is the word on you reaching out? The word on you reaching out is Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups. I love, I love the art in this deck. Tell me these women are not it. Like, stop it. Like, actually, stop. This is the squad, please, pumpkins. I love it. Um, yeah, you can reach out. Sure, you can reach out. Um, I think there could be something here about you reaching out in the morning, uh, but not too early. You can reach out at night, but like not too late. I'm getting like a nice 8 p.m., 9 p.m., maybe 9 a.m., uh 11 a.m type thing all right even midday or noon noon could even be like a really good time to reach out if you're wondering about time um if you're watching this in october that could be a good time to, to do that as well pumpkin season is here if you are out with your friends or you are about to go out with your friends you can if this is for a happy birthday sure why not right that's sort of like low uh stakes you know it could be like oh they remembered my birthday but honestly yolo like please please um this isn't something that they're expecting and i almost feel like this is something that you're gonna do just randomly i mean obviously now we kind of know <laughs> but you're gonna do it um or you know you're likely to do it and just kind of be like oh i just did it and not really overthink it too much or you'll be in the mood and just feel like, I think this is the moment and then you'll send it and then <laughs> have something to distract you after or something. Um, you know, there's something here about you getting a message as well, but I am getting this person being surprised by you messaging them. There's like an eyebrow raise that I'm getting like, oh, um, and it's something of an olive branch, something of an, like an extension of self in a way. Um, it's a temptation for sure. It's a, it's a nice temptation. Okay, you reaching out is a super nice temptation. Um, let's, 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 um, let's see how they could react. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, very interesting. The, the, the Ace of... The High Priestess in Reverse and the Ace of Swords. I think at first... I don't know. 
I'm kind of getting this person may either respond quickly, immediately, or also take their time. <laughs> so I feel like what I'm getting is, this depends on this person, I guess. I mean, it's kind of wild to say this, but it feels like this is somebody who, as soon as they get the message, will want to respond, stop typing, reel it back in. You know, that kind of thing where they're like, oh, and then they stop and then they go, uh-uh. Let me, let me think about this first, okay? Um, I think with the Ace of Swords, there'll be some wondering over, oh my goodness, what should I say? Um, uh, what should I say? What should I do? Is this my moment? Is what I'm also getting in some kind of way uh, for some people, especially if this is like someone old or someone borrowed or someone blue. Um, if it's someone new and you're wondering about this, I think they may respond again i'm getting both they may respond quickly or respond later um after things have died down and they have time so this is maybe even like a couple days later but it's something that i'm getting if it's a new person and kind of makes them smile and go oh like i wasn't expecting that i'll get back to that later when i have the time to actually maybe like engage with pile green um yeah that's really kind of what i'm getting and then i think for some maybe I mean, is there a possibility that they wouldn't respond? I suppose. I suppose. But I feel like that would come from, let me wait. And then they just sort of like forget or if it, or like it's almost too late, right? But I do feel like there would be a response here. Um, perhaps even more than a thanks. It might be like a, oh, how are you doing type, like furthering that. Let's pull your guidance. <laughs> Spirit, what's the guidance for my Paul Green watching this? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Jeez, your guidance is really taking its time. Okay, Yuki Ono, Ice Queen. Ah, uh -huh, what? Yuki Ono, stillness. Arr, let's go. What is this talking about? I am going to put her in the upright because she's gorgeous. But she is here to get you in alignment. She's here to get you sorted. She wants to get you sorted. So let's go look at 52. 25 could be important. 7 could be important to you. Um, maybe 7 p.m. is important. <sighs> Some days you wake up frozen, stuck, and unable to move due to the effects of emotional damage, emotional denial, and resistance to what is in front of you. Or maybe you're exhausted, spent from the emotional burden of your current situation. The winter goddess Yuki Ona has come to help you move out of and past this experience into a healthier state of stillness. Come through. When you are frozen, it's the ego that is refusing to accept life on life's terms, potentially causing you fear and depression. A particular situation or person may be causing you to see yourself as a victim. The goddess Yuki Ona reminds you that this is but a temporary moment in the millions of moments of your life. I'm going to read that back for the people in the back. The goddess Yuki Ona reminds you that this is a is but a temporary moment in the millions of moments of your life. The task she has for you is to answer one question. Will you trust the Greek goddess in the universe, the great goddess in the universe to be your active partner in co-creating? If so, slow down and let all your troubles go and you will see the miracles life has to offer you. So it looks like either way, there's a sense of freedom in you reaching out to this person. Then you're no longer holding yourself to should i shouldn't i should i not have that da, 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 da. you're you're letting go you're you're moving through it so whether you know by the time you do it they respond or not or you get what I, like it's almost like this is a really good release like i'm getting world energy from this in a way um of you moving past the threshold and and clearing yourself of what sort of needs to be cleared okay i need you to find a blue heart the blue heart emoji or any blue emoji that is in your recents. <laughs> any emoji that has blue in it, I want you to put it in the comments so we know. Wink, wink. 
Um, also, I want you to keep your light on, okay? And I want you to know that if you are uh, looking for a personal reading, please feel free to come through. Otherwise, as a member of the channel, if you become a member of the channel, you can get the perks, which means when I go live, you get a blessing. You get free reading sometimes. <laughs> which is always awesome. Either way, I'll see you next time, as in tomorrow. Because I was here yesterday, I'm here tomorrow for damn near everyday love reading. So I'm here, I've got you. Keep it locked. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey there, Paul Whitestone. Um, we are looking at whether or not you should reach out, right? Like, let's see how you're feeling, how this is feeling, and how this is doing. We're going to be looking at this as a yes or no reading. Looking at whether or not, you know, what spirit has to say about you. Oh, reaching out. That's the card that fell on the ground. These cards, I'm going to take them away. Am I going to take these away? I mean, it adds up to seven. Are we going to take it, spirit? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do the do of it. You're a white stone. Your stones are over there. Let's look it up. Let's do this. Okay, so wands and revoice. The four of pentacles on the revoice. The three of swords in the revoice. The hierophant. The eight of cups in the revoice. The two of wands in the revoice and the nine. Oh, God. The nine of. Look at this. Like, hello? Can we get morbid? Is that blood or rust? Clearly, that's blood. My goodness. My goring. All right. Listen, should you reach out? No. There's blood on those swords. No. Stop it. The, like, no. <laughs> Please, no. You've been doing really well. Okay, you've been doing really well. Stop it. Do not pass go. 12-12. Do not pass go. Don't don't do it. 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 walk away. The only reason you should reach out, and here's the thing. Like, this is a no, okay? However, <laughs> I want you to hear this and hear it well. There is, okay, let me tell you why it's a no. And I'll tell you where there is a yes in this because there is a yes in this. Like for sure, when I look at the tarot as tarot, there is a yes in this. The no. Why you shouldn't reach out is because it may F you up. You've been doing so well, Paul Whitestone. You've been doing so well with your healing. Okay, you've been doing so well, and you doing so well doesn't always mean that you can go ahead and start stretching yourselves to do things that you just don't need to do. Okay? Do you need to message this person? Do you need to engage with this person? Can you handle it? Right? Can your system handle it? I'm getting a no. I'm getting that this, you reaching out, will slide you back a little bit or a bit to what it was before with you with this person, okay? Now, having said that, um, You can reach out. Just know that there will be some angst that is born from you reaching out. Okay? There will. And for some of you, I don't know, maybe that's what you need. For those of you that are like, I'm going to do it, I don't care. Maybe that's what you need. Sometimes we do need those, you know, we need the house deep cleaned, okay? Deep cleaned. Getting in the nooks and crannies of it all. Cleaning the hinges, <laughs> okay? Sometimes, sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need to go back, retrace our steps, do a thing again, 
in order for it to be really fully extracted from our lives or for us to really get the lesson or for us to really understand for that lesson or that message to be really got right um and that's not a bad thing that's not a bad thing 15 15 it's not um if if you can handle those days or weeks or whatever that does to you to reach out uh, sure do what you want however that i'm what i'm seeing here is um you know should you reach out no but that's because it's it's angsty but it seems to also be angsty to not reach out so i don't know paul green i mean paul white my goodness paul three pick your poison right pick your poison it could be that reaching out now may not be the best time but reaching out later could be you know so perhaps now where you're at, it's almost like, no, wait a bit, wait, you know, a few days, wait a few hours, wait a few months, weeks, and then you can reach out then, perhaps, right? This could be like, don't do it quite yet, um, but maybe give yourself some time and see if you still want to reach out, if you, th if you still think it's worth doing it, all right? Um, at the point that you're ready to reach out, if that resonates with you, come back to this reading and see if that is a message that comes up for you okay let's get your guidance Ooh. spirit what's the guidance for my white stone here given this situation nice mama ocha water mama kocha i don't know how to do the kocha I don't know. Maybe that's not even how you say it. Mama Kocha. Water. 33. Uh, for anybody who is feeling weighed down by their age, 17, 17. So many numbers. If you're feeling weighed down by, their age, by your age and you're acting out of like age, as in like feeling like my clock's ticking, time's running out. There's... There's got to be a better way forward, okay? There's got to be a better way forward for you. Your alignment message from Mama Kocha is overwhelm and empathy overload has opened a tidal wave of emotion. Yeah, my, those mind swords are bleeding, folks, okay? Uh, a tidal wave of emotion that feels like it's threatening to engulf you. Feelings are unruly now and you may discover that it's difficult to control them as you project their shadowy figures onto the screen of your life. The Nine of Swords is bleeding, folks. The goddess mama... I don't know how to do it. Says your task now is to detach. Come through, spirit. Step back. Come through, spirit. And allow your feelings to pass through you like water. Give it time. Without judgment or disapproval. I love that. Listen, spirit lives in the house of Lumiere. Spirit lives in illumination. And the message is very much here. Give, give, give yourself some time. Give yourself some space. And I love that it says without judgment or disapproval. You feel how you feel. Okay, you feel how you feel. But don't make that your future self's problem. Or don't make that, you know, a problem for you. Or any, any anybody else sometimes. Right? Unless it concerns them. But really, you know... Okay, you don't judge your, your feelings. You don't disapprove of your feelings. Let your fears be washed away with self-love and understanding. The world can be a chaotic place and uncertainty can create instability where people will act out in incomprehensible ways, right? If this is an age thing, if you're trying to reach out to somebody because, oh, I'm getting older and, you know... Uh, the, the, I don't have this and that. Maybe I could just da 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 da. There has to be a better way. Um, if you're reaching out to, I don't know if it's even like a friend and you're thinking, should I reach out to them and see if we can arrange something? Don't do it. That's hormones. Don't do it. You're not in your right mind. Period. Those nine of swords are bleeding. Did I mention that? 
you're not in your right mind. You're not in the right headspace. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Move to higher ground. Uncertainty can create instability where people will act out in incomprehensible ways. Move to higher ground. Say no to engaging and wait. Now is the time to respond when you feel ready rather than react in the heat of the moment. Let the goddess Mama Kocha's waters of life hold you up and surround you like the fluid did in your mother's womb. Let love be that water. Come through, goddesses. Listen, goddess power is here. I want you to put green emojis in the ch in the in, in the chat. I want you to put green emojis in the in the comment section. Find either a green heart or green dots. I don't know what your phone got or tablet or whatever you're watching this on, but find find that green something in your emoji and put it up in your comments for this pile. <sighs> 2121, I'm giving you a big hug, okay? Um, fight these feelings for a bit. And by that, I mean, I don't even think fight the feelings, feel the feelings, okay? Feel the feelings of wanting to reach out, feel the feelings of whatever it is that you're feeling, but don't fight them or try to make them go away in terms of reacting from them, right? Feel them, cry if you need to, laugh if you need to, um, give them an audience, right? Talk to them if you need to. <sighs> Try to understand them and where they're coming from. And then give yourself the time to give yourself the time to give yourself the time. Okay? I wish you everything. I really do. Keep your light on good luck. And I am here. Keep me company <laughs> in the comments. Uh, <laughs> I was here yesterday. I'm here tomorrow. There's so many videos on the channel. Feel free, deep dive, go, go swim. I have self-love videos. I have um, a weight video uh, and a glow up video, like how to glow up or something for you. And those messages really hit. Like I watch those periodically. I get the same in piles <laughs> and I listen to them and get new nuggets because it's really affirming. So watch some affirming type content as well if you if you if you're called to. I wish you everything, baby girl. I call everybody girl. I call everybody girl. I really do. See you next time. Keep your light on. Good luck, and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye bye. Hey there. <laughs> Welcome to your reading pile. Pink pile one. Listen. Reach out or not. Reach out or not. Yes or no. Should you reach out? That's what we're looking at. Should you reach out? That song is stuck in my head. Barrel? Barrel? By Ned? I don't think that's been a message for anybody. That's just stuck in my head. All right, friends. I am using the Before Tarot as our assistance, our intuitive assistance. This is a part of damn near everyday Libra love readings. I'm a Libra and I love <laughs> love. <laughs> um, it's timeless happening during the month of October best month in the world ah! so cute <laughs> listen I'm a Libra it's my birthday month okay my birthday month is like my birthday is the 12th and I love it I love it I loved it so happy birthday to me all right friend let's go isn't this setup so cute? Like, isn't it really pretty? Like the lighting and just the pink of it all. Like, let's go. Oh, like, let's fucking go. Um, listen, you have the six of wands, you have the star, you have the world in reverse. Wild. Um, I think that if you want, you can reach out. Absolutely. If you want to reach out, you can. You really can. 
Um, bye. <laughs> no, I mean, you have the six of wands. You have the star. You have the world in reverse. The world in reverse is giving me energies of unfinished business on both ends. And people who have been trying to say something is finished when it isn't. Does it need to be finished? I think energetically, it could be cool to have like some energetic closure. We've got two major arcanas coming out here. All right, we have a star and then we have uh, the world. So with the star, it's really beautiful. I love, I love the art in this deck. I'm so grateful to the person that got me this deck because please, like I love this deck so freaking much. The star is gorgeous all right the star and i used to have so much beef back in the day <laughs> because what is this okay like, why is there this woman in the streets just like, wait what is she doing um i think decide on what you want before you message this person if you choose to decide on what the outcome will be um the star is about hope the star is about a wish the star is about it's almost like I don't know it's not really manifesting necessarily like the like the magician is the star is more so this energy of like hope warmth the star relates to the hermit it's what keeps the hermit grounded um there is an element to manifestation with the star though it's just I'm trying to touch it here for you, but there is something here. The Six of Wands says victory, right? The Six of Wands says there is, uh, you know, some type of benefit or uh, jolt internal that is 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 nice here. Some type of, I suppose, recognition or whatever. This is giving, you know, a heart reaction or a thumbs up reaction or maybe even a warm welcome. We're going to see what the reception could be if and when you reach out, right? Um... But I feel like there's a rawness here. I think there's an innocence here that the star is also bringing to the table of being innocent and being pure in your intentions, right? This could be the type of message you send. I don't know what it is that you're thinking about sending here, but it's along the lines to me of like, hey, you're on my mind. How are you? Right? Like I've done that before. And it just sort of opens up this soft energy of communication with this person. It doesn't, it doesn't bring about any sort of expectations of anything. It's sort of like, you know, uh, I mean, you can ask, ask the question, which has an expectation of getting a response, which is, you know, do what you want. But yeah, there's this, just the, the precursor of, I've been thinking about you, like you're on my mind. Um, could be a thing or, you know, sending something sweet that reminds you of them and be a memory or, oh, look what I found or something like that. Um, what could the reception be of this reach outation? Okay, so it'll be a revival, right? The judgment is here and the King of Swords is in reverse. <laughs> the King of Swords in reverse is weird. The King of Swords in the reverse is weird. Clarify the King of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Swords. Okay, so it seems like almost like this person may need... This person may be going through something and your message may even be like a nice beacon of something, right? Um, that's what it's it's sort of giving me because this Eight of Swords is clarifying the King of Swords in the reverse. So, I, I King of Swords, I know intimately what the King of Swords means. I know intimately what the King of Swords in the reverse means. That's ghosting energy. That's quiet energy. That's... <laughs> that's that kind of energy okay and with clarified by the eight of swords this person may be going through it a little bit they may be feeling a little bit stuck they may be feeling not great and your message may be something that is something that snaps them out of that space all right with the other major arcana here that comes out with this major arcana reading um it feels like Yeah, I mean, a resurrection, please. Like, it feels like a, 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 
a resurrection, a new beginning, even with the world in reverse. Where world is an ending, but with it in the reverse, it's unfinished business, yes. But it's almost giving me like a new beginning. It's almost giving me like, you know, there's something beautiful that happens at the end. I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but I'm really getting this. This I remember I was, um. there's something beautiful that happens at the end, right? There's something beautiful that happens, for instance, with some people when they try to break up with someone. It's the thing that jolts that relationship and brings it back to a second life. You know what I mean? A second wind. Um, and that's the kind of like new beginning that I'm getting here. It's like a jolt. It's like uh, I know when I've traveled and I met people abroad and we were having a tryst <laughs> that wasn't going well. Me leaving was something that sort of jolted this person into acting right for a hot bit. And the reality of that, um, it does something to people. So there's something here about a resurrection of something that, you know, at the, at the completion point. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. The nuance in this message. So, okay. Anyway, um... This is someone who may take their time in responding, maybe. <laughs> I guess. Because they're maybe just preoccupied in their own head or not really sure what to say or do or what have you. Let me get you guidance, because what? It's like a wake-up call, you messaging them. The response is like a wake-up call. So I don't know if this person has been quiet for a hot while and it sort of like reminds them that, oh shit, I did that thing again. Or, oh shit, I, I disappeared. I don't know. All right. What is the guidance for my Apollo 1 and my pink stone, pink and purple stone? Ma'at. Ma'at. Truth. That's really awesome. Yeah, I mean, a wake-up call is truth, ain't it? I don't know if she's coming to you in the upright or the reverse, to be honest. I feel like it's both. Probably have to read both messages, but we'll keep her in uh, the this position because she just is so pretty. So pretty. Uh, hello? <laughs> Ma'at. Ma'at's message is about la truth la verdad la verdad da read the empowerment message ah uh, i'll read the alignment mm, i'll read the empowerment message there, there is a great power in telling the truth power one and allowing it to lead you to higher ground it's only when we refuse to see the reality of a situation that we lose our power to co-create for the highest good that's beautiful the Egyptian, I thought, I knew there was some Middle Easterners here. Uh, anyway, the Egyptian goddess Ma'at comes to remind you that if you are willing to do a fearless self-inventory and live authentically, the star, with rigorous honesty, the star, it will lead you to great success in all areas of your life, being completely transparent with others. Although it might at first feel too vulnerable, it's exactly what you need to do now. When you do this, you'll feel flooded with the power to claim and experience a new freedom and a new happiness that will pour over your life like a wild sweet honey. Wow, the Six of Wands is really coming through, you guys. Wow. Your life is exactly where it needs to be. This is a wonderful time of empowered choice making. You are doing all the right things if you follow the invitation of Ma'at to live fearlessly in truth. As the arbiter of balance and divine order, she reminds you of the great value of this way of being. Her alignment message to you in this sort of scenario is the law of karma states that everything comes into balance sooner or later. So trust that in the greater story of your life, all wrong things will get righted. Wow, that's judgment, ain't it? The goddess Ma'at appears with her scales of justice. Hello, Libra season. <laughs> Love it. Of justice and feather of truth. Excuse me. Her scales of justice and feather of truth. Okay. 
to remind you that you are seeing only one moment in time. The balance of events tips both ways until it comes into coherence with the harmony of the universe. Regardless of this natural rebalancing, it's time to speak up if you see injustice in your world. Ma'at says in order for you to truly be free, everyone must be free. Wow. She offers you the alignment task of considering where you may have hurt someone else. Oh. And how your unconscious projection of how the world should be may have set you up for a transgression even if you were innocent. This is a time of great unraveling and nothing meaningful will be accomplished without some effort. Another message for you now, Pao Pink, is to see behind the words of others, especially when you feel they may be withholding truth or acting without awareness. It's important not to enable this. Tell the truth with as much love as you can, even though denial may be swept away in an awkward moment and everyone feels exposed. It's an important way to move forward with compassion. The goddess Ma'at reminds you that she is a champion for those willing to course correct and gives you her full support. So there's a lot that could be sort of done here with this reaching out in whatever way that that happens. That world is really speaking and Ma'at, I think, brought those words to the forefront. I wish you everything, pal one. I really do. I need you to leave me. I don't know if there's a brown heart. Is there a brown heart? A brown or yellow heart? Or like brown emojis? <laughs> I mean the poop emojis, brown. Brown emojis or yellow emojis? Like I would, I mean emojis are yellow, right? But yeah, if you can leave those in the comments and let me know and everybody else who picked this pile that this is y'all's pile and you're all squad, squad rolling. That would be awesome. This is part of damn near everyday love readings. I was here yesterday. I'm probably going to be here tomorrow too. So swim, go indulge, have fun, play, be merry. Check out the channel, see if there's anything else in there for you. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do because I go live. So when you hit the bell, you get notified when I go live and you get free readings. If you're a member of the channel, you get even more perks when I go live. So that's just my way of saying thank you for, you know, making this possible and supporting the channel and supporting your fellow human beings in this world. Because if without the members, I would not be going live, baby. As soon as there's no members in the membership, I'm, I am going live once a year as opposed to once a month or even twice a month. All right. I wish you guys everything. Keep your light on and good luck. And I will see you next time.